Hi, in this video, we'll see how we can apply data-driven tests to code UI tests with Windows Phone. For that, we'll start with um, this uh, simple coded UI test. What it does, it just um, write my first name here in this first um, text box, then my last name, then when I click write full name button, then it will um, concatenate my first name to my last name. So let's just run it. So it writes the first name, last name, then just concatenate it when uh, clicking on the right full name button. So ne now let's suppose we have um, uh, different scenarios to test. Here I just tested with uh, these only two values. Suppose I have uh, so much uh, more values to test with. So what? how should I t write uh, my tests? So first step is to duplicate this test method and um, change the uh, the values that I want to test. Then of course change uh, the expected value. But this is not very good as we will duplicate code. So here Microsoft Test Framework comes with um, a better solution for us, which is to use data driven. Um, test is how we do how we could do that so simply we use data row and what data row does it will take the parameters that we want to test so suppose here that I want to test um, with these parameters so let's start with this Sam this is the first parameter then I have a second parameter that I want to include to my tests which is um, my last name and uh, when I see to, the, to um, uh, the signature of this class it takes uh, parameters then it takes the uh, display name which is type of string so let's call it um, values1 And from here, from these two values, I can pass them as parameters to uh, the coded UI test method one. How I do that? I'll add some parameters. Of course, string is the type of the first parameter. And let's call it first name. And second parameter for the last name, which is, of course, type of string. So now I specified the parameters I want to test. I passed them to the method. Then here I can just access them. So here I'll add, I click first name and here it's gonna be my last name. For the expected value, um, here um, I could either specify it in the uh, data row. So let's add here another parameter. So let's say it's going to be Hussein Delay. And of course, then I will be able to pass it into the parameter here. So uh, type of string, last uh, full name. So the expected is going to be the full name, that full name. So let's run this test. Run selected tests. And the test just fails. Why is that? Let's see here. Uh, tells parameter count mismatch. Mm, what is wrong here? Um, 
Okay, so here um, it found four parameters of type string, but in the method I just passed it three. So what is wrong? How we can fix that? So for the last parameter, what I'm gonna do is just the display display name. So let's run it again. Okay, the test then passes. And so this is, um, it's just representing one scenario for my test. Then I let's suppose I have another scenario to test. So all I have to do is just copy in this line of code pasting here and just changing uh, other uh, values so let's say that I want to change here for for example let's say Hassan let's say Salah then here it's gonna be for the expected value Sensor. So here it's uh, value 2 and also I can I can uh, choose as many uh, scenarios as I want. So here let's um, delay and let's say it's value uh, values 3. Let's see now when I run the selected tests. So what the test framework will do is it's gonna um, verify with all um, uh, the data rows values that I specified. Uh, but here there is an error. The test doesn't succeed. Wrong value. So the test doesn't succeed for the uh, values 2 and values 3. For the values 1, it just works well. So why is that? Because there is a wrong value expected Hassan Delay, then actually is Hassan Delay. Why is that? Uh, here because I wrote, uh, I miss mistyping the expected value. And for the third value, Expected Hussein delay and actual is so here. I'll have to fix this one to be Muhammad delay. Then let's rerun these tests. Great. Now all the tests pass as well.